Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Nehmaduhu wa nusalli ala rasulihi al-kareem. It is today the sixth day of the month of Zulhaj. Allah says in the Quran, Ba'da uzu billahi minash shaitan al-rajim al-lazhi khalaqa as-samawati wal-arda fi sittati ayyam. But he created the heavens and the earth in six days. And today we commemorate the last of the six days and we do so in reciting the Jews for today of the Quran Surah Al-Fatiha and Surah Al-A'raf. There's much more that I have to speak about commemoration and the link with the angels when I lecture inshallah on the 27th uh, inshallah in Ilford in London on preparing for the angels. But in addition to today being the sixth day of the month, there are events which are continuously unfolding in the world. And it is the responsibility of the scholars of Islam to be able to turn to the Qur'an and turn to the Hadith of our Prophet, Allah's blessings be upon him, to respond to these events. Let me give an example. Uh, some very wealthy people um, hired a vehicle which would take them down to the bottom of the sea to, vi to view the uh, wreckage, the of the Titanic ship, which sank maybe a hundred years or more ago off the coast of Canada, I believe. And, uh, <coughs> and uh, there was an implosion and the craft uh, uh, exploded and they all, they all died. Uh, two of them were from Pakistan. And it made news all around the world for a few days. But uh, the scholar of Islam will then turn to the Hadith and say that our Prophet, Allah's blessings be upon him, prophesied that Dajjal will step into the ocean and the water would reach him up to his knee. There are those who are scared of Ayat Mutashabihat and they live imprisoned <laughs> with everything being understood literal. And so when the Dajjal does appear in the world, uh, they will wait to see him step into the ocean and that the water would actually literally reach him up to his knee. And uh, they will wait to see the sun rising literally from the west to know that this is the fulfillment of a prophecy. And they will wait for a mountain of gold to come out from underneath the river Euphrates for the, literally come out from under the, the river Euphrates for the fulfillment of that prophecy. And they will say, our prophet said, that the Dajjal sees with one eye, the left eye, and he's blind in the right eye. It looks like a bulging grate. And uh, the Dajjal has the word kafir written on his forehead. And these people will wait for a literal uh, manifestation of all of these signs. But we are saying <laughs> to them, you are wasting your time, you are mistaken. And no matter how much we try to explain to you that these are mutashabihat, they have to be interpreted to be understood, they will not listen to us. And so what do we do? Answer, we teach those who are willing to learn. And here we say, when the Prophet said that the Dajjal will step into the ocean, and the water would reach him to his knee. This is an in indication that the Dajjal will have the technology to be able to send vehicles down to the bottom of the ocean as though he was stepping into the ocean and the water is reaching up to his knee. This is the, f the explanation, or rather, the interpretation of that hadith. But if you wish to wait 
for someone who is step into the ocean and the water reaching up to his knee, you better find a comfortable sofa on which to sit because you got a long, long way to ahead of you. But this is not only the only thing that has recently happened. Uh, most important of all was an, an armed insurrection in Russia. And uh, uh, although the danger has now been averted, there's much analysis to be done. And I want to say to you that uh, I will try uh, in my lecture in London on the 27th, inshallah, I hope to see you there. I will try to offer a response, an analytical response to the event of the armed insurrection in Russia of the Wagner mercenary army. Uh, <coughs> the uh, events in Russia are not to be understood as trivial. There is much to be learned from what happened in Russia over the last two days. And I intend to offer a comment on this subject in London, inshallah, on the 27th. I hope you'll be there. Another event which has just taken place is uh, the visit of the Indian Prime Minister to the United States of America. Uh, India has shown a great deal of common sense and wisdom in defying the West in the subject of Ukraine and in maintaining fraternal ties and, and military ties uh, and also um, uh, economic ties, uh, buying oil from Russia, despite the sanctions imposed by the West. While, while India has shown this integrity and courage to do this, India is now also showing great affection for the West in this visit of Modi to the United States, how do we understand India's position in the world and anticipate what is India going to be doing in the future so long as Modi remains the Prime Minister of India? I intend to speak on this subject as well briefly in London on the 27th, so do please come. But finally, it is when you come to me and you attend my lectures and you ask the questions that I'm able to respond to events taking place in the world. Uh, I can't do this if I'm sitting in my sitting room, my daughter's sitting room here. So the face-to-face -face events are important. Yes, I know when I, I return to Trinidad, I'll be doing only videos and there'll be no face-to-face -face meetings. But while I'm traveling, this still, it's still possible for us to meet face-to-face. -face. And this is very important because in face-to-face -face meetings, not only can you ask questions, but you can also offer your comments. So I intend to comment on Modi and India, inshallah, on the 27th. I look forward to seeing you there. The subject of the angels, is of supreme importance. It is a philosophical problem. It is an intellectual problem. It is a spiritual problem that has to be a, a, a direct, direct our attention to it. And that's what I plan to do in a, the lecture on the 27th, uh, and most important of all for our sisters, who are mothers, who have children, who have homes, they, have, they are mothers of the home. And how do you prepare the home and how do you train your children so that they may be able to, to be saved from the jazz modern Western civilization? The subject of the angels is pivotally important. I look forward to seeing you, inshallah, on the 27th in Ilford. I think it's the Muslim Community Center in Ilford where I have lectured several times in the past. Uh, I look forward to seeing you on the 27th, inshallah. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.